In this video, we're going to look at CSS's uh, Rotate 3D transform. And in particular, we're going to uh, apply it to Hans Holbein's painting, The Ambassadors. And we'll get a look at the skull as an example of anamorphosis. So let me just show you this in act. So here's this painting by Hans Holbein. We have this figure down here. And then we hit rotate. So I'm rotating that. And then I have the button that you can stop it. And if you stop at a particular point, then you can get a better look at what that sort of initial blurry thing across the bottom was. You refresh the page. So this, when rotated as the painting or the image is rotated a certain uh, correct amount, then you, it comes in to focus as a skull. So viewed from the right sort of angle, this painting, that thing becomes uh, a, a skull at sort of a more sort of frontal. Okay. So that's the game. I just want to show it to you in JavaScript. So here is the style. I have in the style is going to be based on a variable. So this is declaring a variable in my style. So it's this colon a root and then dash dash. And so I'm defining this dash dash a rotational angle ROT underscore A and G as a variable uh, of my CSS. And then the body I am uh, setting a pers perspective of 800 pixels. So that's sort of like uh, sort of how close or in depth, uh, how far away or how close up sort of you are. Um, and it affects these, these sort of things like sort of how far away are you. Um, here's just the image. Uh, gave it an absolute thing on the page. Sometimes the rotation was taking me off the page, like some of the image was rotated sort of off the page. So I gave it an absolute uh, position and a control the top, the top and the left. And it was also a big image. So I also controlled the height. So it sort of fit on my screen. And then here's uh, the new thing that I want to show is this, uh, so this is a being applied to a class of dot rotated, and that image will be rotated. You can also do this with words and other things, but I'm doing it to the image. And so I'm putting it in a class called rotated. So you see the dot. So I'm styling a class. And here is this 3D transformation. And uh, so this first one is sort of uh, a horizontal. So as I say down here, if I put, the, I have a 302 zeros. So this is a rotation about a, a vertical axis. If I put the 300 in the first one, and I can do combinations, but let's do one at a time. So this is a combination about a vertical axis that you uh, saw. So it's a rotating around a vertical axis. Uh, if I put the 300 uh, in the first position, it is a rotation about a horizontal axis. So let's refresh that. And now sort of that is so the, the horizontal line is an axis about which it's being rotated. And if I put the 300 on the, what I'll call the Z, then that axis is uh, coming out of the page and I'm rotating around that. Sort of that's more just a traditional sort of 2D rotation, not wrong browser. Okay. But the interesting one for us and for that skull is around the vertical axis. So let's get back to where we were. Okay. All right. Um, 
This was just my button. My input was my button. Uh, I have two references, one to the painting itself and one to this ana anamorphosis. Um, so it is sort of projecting something onto some other sort of uh, perspective. Um, and I'll let you read about that if you want. Here is my button. Here is my image. And as promised, it's in the rotated class. And then here's just my little bit of JavaScript. Uh, my rotate is called by the clicking of the button. On click my rotate. So my rotate and the button just sort of toggles. So in the beginning, if the button, says, if the value of the button is what it says. So if it says rotate, then I make it say stop and I set a timer. And that timer is a repeating timer, a set interval timer, and it's calling a function a rotate underscore image, and it's doing so every 100 milliseconds, every tenth of a second. Um, and otherwise, so if the button does not say rotate, for instance, if it says stop, then I'm going to turn it back to rotate, and I'm going to use clear interval to stop the timer. So I had a global variable with the timer ID, and I uh, established when I use the set interval method, and that is then used to uh, stop the timer. So that allowed me this ability to start and stop the rotation so I could get it uh, at a point where I could see the skull. And let's just let it uh, rotate all the way around so that you can see, uh, it sort of starts showing you this sort of, I don't know, mirror image, if you will, of the a painting when so now, now we're at the mirror image. So we went through 180, and now it's uh, coming back around. And now we're getting back to sort of a full 360. And I'm actually rotating um, in a negative direction, as we'll see if we when we look at that timer. So um, that was actually minus 360. OK. So here is the function called by the uh, timer. Set interval calls this function uh, rotate image every 100 milliseconds. I am using get computed style, get property value. So I'm finding my value of that uh, dash dash rot hang, which was up here in the style, that was my style variable. So I'm getting it. Uh, it has some units, so I'm parse inting it. Now that's pulling off any unit. I'm working with degrees, so I can work with integers and sort of I'm just going up. I'm ch changing it every tenth of a second. I'm changing it my one degree. If I were working in radians or something, then I'd have to work with parse float or something. Um, here I am decreasing the angle. So I started it at zero and I'm subtracting one um, and making that the new angle. So that is um, sort of rotating in a negative direction around this vertical axis. And then I am uh, setting that property. So I'm going to the sort of the, the document as a whole and uh, setting that uh, dash dash rot underscore ang property to this new value and I'm restoring the unit. Okay, and that's the end of the program. That's what I wanted to show you. And again, it's this idea of uh, rotating around different uh, axes. I'm rotating in this case around a vertical axis, as you can see. And um, this was just an interesting painting to apply this to because it had this anamorphosis, that skull. And if you sort of stop it and get the right angle of rotation, then the skull becomes uh, much more, you know, clear that uh, what it is. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you in this one. Thanks for your attention.